Heading for Beirut, I knew I was going against the tide, but what a tide. Whole families on the move. Our first thought was like, you know, leave Lebanon, you know, and then after we get, I mean, like, you know, we're going to work and buy new tickets or try to exchange our tickets, whatever it takes, you know, but the main concern was like, you know, get out. Do you remember hearing the bombs last night? Yeah. What, describe to me what you heard last night. Well, it's like, kind of like a truck backfire. Like thunder or something? Yeah, like thunder. For him and for me, it was goodbye Syria. Bureaucracy seldom grasps the near panic people feel at times like this. Fill the form, join the queue, get the stamp, and always have the cash. It is absolutely chaotic. Uh, there are hundreds of people just in this room alone. Foreigners arriving, diplomats arriving, Arabs arriving, all people trying to get the various bits of paper they need to go with the various bits of paper they've already got. And the most important bit of paper uh, is the US dollar. That seems to be speeding things along quite nicely. Our first glimpse of Lebanon, Beirut still a couple of hours away, and still they were coming out. Cars that had seen better days, roof racks moaning with worldly possessions. For some, the best was just a lift on a pickup truck. And then, a reminder of what they were getting away from. This was the piece that was the, the TV station for yeah. Hezbollah. Yeah. yeah. In a biblical landscape, a fortress of the TV age, Hezbollah's voice muted by Israeli rockets. And finally Beirut, a wrecked seafront hotel and leaflets dropped this very afternoon from Israeli aircraft. It was frightening litter to greet my arrival.